Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Martin here from Cards at Home, back with another video, and today I finally have my package from the Game Crafter. Now, I've been waiting over a month to receive this package, so I'm really excited about it. It's taken a very long time. I've just been really excited to finally show you the cards. Now, I know some of you may and some of you may not have already seen a certain YouTuber on YouTube that's already opened up my cards before I had the chance to get my own hands on them. He goes by the name of TCG Art and Other Random Things. I mean, I, I'm guessing a lot of you guys saw his video because, uh, you know, guys got more views on my game than I've got subscribers. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, I mean, I know I've done like a opening before where I first published my game, but I just, you know, I I took Resolution Breakers off of GameCraft, I revamped the game so I could try and make it look a little bit better for you guys. I mean, I'm hoping it looks better. Um, so yeah, I've just republished it again. But uh, anyway, I'm bambling on enough. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just open it. Oh, how am I, how am I going to open this? Okay, that should be it. Yep. Alright, so inside should be two copies of the first trial decks, Legends and Heroes. As I will be, as I said before, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I will be doing a giveaway of these two right here in my hands. I won't open them, so they will be brand new, not been opened for one lucky viewer or subscriber of my channel. Now there's obviously going to be some kind of certain rules behind the giveaway. So obviously you have to be subscribed. You have to just comment on the video saying that you want them. But it won't just be a normal giveaway. You can keep the, I mean, you can keep the decks. Just uh, you have to make either a battle video or some kind of review video. So I can see your take on my game any kind of opinions, any kind of feedback, it will be muchly appreciated. So uh, yeah, yeah, first two trial decks giveaway. Oh, this is actually really exciting. I, and when I, when I first did the decks, I didn't actually have them in a, a, a deck box. So uh, this is definitely something new to me. It's actually really, it's really nice. Anyway, so uh, oh, first deck I'll get onto is the heroes deck, the Trial deck one for the dojos. Damn. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh okay, I guess I can read the back of the of the deck. It says if you can even read it, I'm pretty sure you can't because I'm using my crappy mobile phone, so it says, Resolution Breakers Trial Deck 1 Heroes. This pre-constructed set gives you the first look into, into the Burning Samurai Clan, Idojo, providing you with the primary key essentials in order to jump yourself right into the world of Resolution Breakers. This set includes 50 cards, 40 unit cards, plus 10 spell cards, including 3 super rare cards and an official rulebook. It introduces the Resolve Effects, Leader and Berserker. And then it just says, continue, continue to show your support by going onto the YouTube channel. It's just got my little YouTube channel at the bottom. So yeah, let's, uh, let's open up Heroes. So uh, here's the rule book. It's got a little how to play official rule book. I'm hoping it's not too small. Yep, it is kind of readable. Let me just, all right, all right. So uh, the first page we have here is the contents page. It just shows you what's in the book. And the next first page here is the how to play resolution breakers. It's just got the aim of the game, deck, card and deck conditions. And then on the next page, you've got card components, which just shows you the layout of the card and tells you how you can read it. It has the unit cards on this side and the spell cards on that side. And then there's the card zones and field. It just explains the where cards go and stuff. And then there's actually starting the game, so it's just talking about how you begin a game, you know, shuffling the deck and stuff, and then it just runs you through the steps of the game, and it continues onto the next page, and then onto the next page. And then there's a... I'm not too sure why this is here. I made I made sure this was the back, but... Oh, it's got a white back now, I guess. Now, I'm guessing the cards aren't going to be in order. Yep, they're not going to be in order, so I'll just uh, quickly pause here, put the cards in order, and then I'll go through them. Okay, so I've put all the cards in order and I'm just going to run you through all of them. 
So the first stuff in the deck is two copies of Lord of Unrelenting Flame Shingen. And as you may notice here, as I said on the back of the on the deck, it has in, the deck includes three super rare cards. This one on here is the super rare version, and this one over here is the common version. Now that I'm not too sure if you can really even tell the difference between the. I mean, obviously you can tell with the glow around the character, but I was supposed to put some kind of like faded lines over the top. And I'm not too sure if that actually came out too well. And as you can see, because it's blue, that means it's a super rare, whereas the white means it's a common. So you get two copies of Lord of Unrelated Flame Shingen, one super and one common. Then you get two copies of Twin Pike Strategist Yukimura, and again, you also get one in super rare and one in common. Then you get four copies of Ignition Warlord Mizuki in the deck. Now I also added rares into the into the trial decks. I didn't have that before. I also didn't have super rares. They were supposed to be super rares, but I I just kind of like scrapped that idea. But now there's also rares in the in the trial decks, and I added uh, as you can see, it's yellow down here, which means it's a rare. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera or not, but I added a little kind of uh, gradient over the top of all the rare cards, and you can notice it in the hero deck. I'm not too sure if you can notice it too well in the legends deck because when I saw the TCG art and other random things open up the deck, I couldn't really, I couldn't really notice it that much. So I guess I'll I'll find out for myself. But anyway, you get four copies of Mizuki. You get four copies of Blade of Blazing Soul Ken, which again are also rares as well. You get four copies of Unadept Swordsman Mifune, which again are also rares. You get four copies of Frontline Assault Kurosaki, which again are also rares. You get four copies of Sharp Edge Shin, which are all commons. You get four copies of Inexorable Gallant Benkei. Four copies of Samurai of Generosity Itadaki. Four copies of Unwavering Blade Hayate. Two copies of Flagholder Shuri. Two copies of Swift Fire Scout Sasuke. And then you get a second strike, which it comes also in a super rare. And I, I forgot to put a little illustrated down here, which I put on all the other cards. Uh, yeah, but it, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but yeah, it comes in a super rare. Then you get two copies of Scattered Remains. You get one Land of a Thousand Blades. One Emergency Blessings. Two copies of Inherited Soul. One Fatigue Supplements. One Equivalent Exchange. And one Jump. So now that's the Heroes deck out of the way, we can now move on to the Legends deck. Now I'm just going to have to try and struggle to get this open again. Kind of cut the box. Nobody needs to know that though. Okay, so the Legends deck, the Runites. On the back again, it's got a little blurb. It's pretty much just exactly the same thing that says on the Dojo deck, but it's just been altered towards the Runites, I guess. As it says, Resolution Breakers Trial Deck 2 Legends. This pre constructed set gives you the first look into the defensive Knight Clan, the Runites. Providing you with the primary key essentials in order to jump yourself right into the world of Resolution Breakers. This set includes 50 cards, 40 unit cards, plus 10 spell cards, including 3 super rare cards just like in the Heroes deck, and an official rulebook. Introduces the Resolve Effects Leader and Protector, and then it's just got the support stuff down below again. But yeah, let's just, uh, let's just open this up again. So instead we get a rule book again and I'm guessing that the cards didn't come out in the order again so I'm just gonna you know go through them put them in order and then I'll come back. So again I've just uh, gone through all of the put them in order and stuff and uh, I'm just gonna run you through them and as I thought the super rares and also the rares unfortunately haven't come out as I wanted them to like you did in the heroes deck but I guess you can still just kind of tell the difference anyway. Um, so yeah let's uh to start we get two copies of Dragon Rider Alexandre, one super rare and then one common. And then next you get two copies of Dual Shield Marcus, one super rare and then one common. 
Then you get four copies of Shield of Sanctum Garrison, and now uh, these are the rares of the deck, but uh, yeah, as I said, the rarities didn't actually work with this deck for some reason. And then you get four copies of Indomitable Titan Hogan, four copies of Impenetrable Shield Will, four copies of Persevering Knight Gareth, four copies of Mighty God Guy, and then four copies of Gauntlet Gateholder Garud. And then four copies of Prosperous Chevalier Hilda God. Four copies of Shield Spear Bearer Basil. And then two copies of Grail Bestower of Atticus. And then two copies of Barrier of Elegance Lamarack. And then for the spells, you get Shield of Legend Rune, which is a super rare. Two copies of Gaius Hammer Mjolnir. One copy of Gaia Quake. One copy of Knights of the Rune Table. One copy of Emergency Blessings. Two copies of Air Inherited Soul. One copy of Fatigue Supplements. And then one copy of Equivalent in Exchange. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the Heroes and the Legends deck, finally. I finally have them in actual card version. Uh, thank you very much, Fortune. I hope you enjoyed that. And now I know if you're wondering what is different about the cards that I did, did I, how did I actually alter them or anything? Basically, I just changed the art to my original designs. I just uh, I took pictures of my original drawings and just you know put them onto the actual card rather than making them digitally. I changed the uh, the life. I made them more, more like actual crystals or diamonds, I guess. And also, obviously, as you can tell, with the super rare and yeah, all that stuff. I mean, I guess I can bring up a little picture to show you what the original looked like compared to what this is looking like here. I mean, the camera's probably not going to work very well with me, but anyway. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I Again, I hope you enjoyed. Do remember the giveaway for both the two trial decks for one lucky person. You have to be subscribed. You got, just got to say that you want the two decks and you have to make a battle video or some kind of review video. Preferably a battle video because I want to hear your, you know, your opinion and your, your genuine thoughts on my game. It would be really appreciated. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you all in the next video. Until then.